Pizza fine there with the gods. Me, me, me. It's not like it's something like we're surprised that he raped it. Hey guys. What's up guys? It's the girl and so welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. If you haven't subscribed to my channel as yet, click that subscription button right down below and turn on your notification bell so that you can be notified anytime I upload a new video. Okay, that never sound right. <clears throat> Just turn on that notification bell so that you guys could be notified. So, as you can tell by the title, yes, I will be talking about the time this guy raped our goat our man so this was again this is another story time that happened in jamaica i was living in bluefields was more than at the time My parents had to do other things to provide for the family basically right they decided to go into this whole um raising chickens and stuff situation which guys they did a great job at it especially my dad he would spend time with those chickens more than he would spend time with us sometimes because he always wants to go and check on chickens always making sure the chicken have life and feeding the chickens and stuff like that so he was just so into those chickens so they would raise it they would kill it and then they would sell it we continued doing that and stuff like that well they did because i didn't really i could like i'm the type of person and i'm no i know that i'm not the only one but i'm the type of person that like I can't look at somebody else's blood or I can't look at blood in general. So like when they're cutting the chicken neck and you see the uh, whew, what's going crawl. When they chuck um cutting the chicken neck and then the blood is pinning up and then they're frying and I couldn't I wasn't the type to be around those type of things. The most I would do is go and play with the chickens and maybe feed them or give them some water or turn on the lights or that's it i'm just not the type to go and cut a chicken neck off like they decided to try something new so this time they wanted to try selling goats well my parents knew nothing about that because remember well, well we're from belize city and in belize city you hardly see people doing those stuff because we're city people basically it's mostly in the countryside you might maybe find people doing that type of stuff in belize and i did not grow up knowing anything about chickens and goats and cows and i don't know what to do none of that and my parents didn't either so they were new to this whole goat situation but they wanted to get a goat boom they got the goat we had it there in our yard because we had a huge yard so we were giving her what she needed to get and stuff like that but anyways after a while there, there was this guy in our community he's like the type of man that deals with these type of stuff he knows about the whole goats and the chickens and the cows and the donkeys and all that because he, he deals with those type of things and i guess he offered my mom to like take care of it until it was time for us to uh, until it was ready to be sold or killed or whatever you do to the goat before you give the people them to buy i don't know if you just give them alive or you kill them and then give it to them or you cut it up or i don't know he was responsible for that he took our goals and he was taking care of it yes um every now and again he come in and he check up on it um, and check in with us to let us know what is going on with the goats how the goat is doing what maybe like telling us giving us an update oh maybe by next two weeks it's got ready or next month or next year whatever he would tell us when it would be ready there came a point in time where mom my mom wanted the goat wanted to get the goat from him because it's like we thought that well they thought that they were keeping the goat too long he he had to go too long so they were ready for the goat to come back now to us this guy would not bring the goat we would pass him many days passing 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 he would not bring the goat but he would say that the goat is almost ready uh every time you see the guy this is all he could say it's almost ready almost ready but he never brings the goat one day it was an early morning the day before my mom was asking him about this goat and again he said it was it was almost ready he would bring the goat when it's ready and stuff like that but what we did realize too because one time he brought it like for a day just like you know for us to see he brought it for us to see it but then the goat 
private area I wasn't really looking normal but I guess we weren't paying that in mind because it's a goat I'm not sure how a goat vagina is supposed to look <laughs> so we weren't even thinking about the fact that he would rape a guy I mean it's not like it's something like we're surprised that he raped it it's just that I mean I don't know the day the, the day before my, my mom was like bring the goats I think we already know what about whatever because somebody else told my mom from the time she had that goat up to now that goat's supposed to be ready he did not show up a morning now after early early morning like over after six o'clock hours or whatever someone in the community I'm gonna call that someone Peter Peter saw I'm gonna call the other person Dave right so Peter saw Dave on the goat <laughs> I mean it's that funny it's really that funny but I have to laugh it was the talk of the tongue everybody was talking about this dog I mean this guy I know a goat anyway Peter went and found Dave with the goat humping the goat who 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 Peter now came down the road because where the guy live was like it was this was our house he lived straight up that hill so right up the hill straight up so it wasn't far so peter knew that the goat was ours because peter saw when we got the goat peter was there wrong whatever. peter saw dave with the goat peter came back and told us and you know he did not just tell us he told the whole community so the whole community had to call him goat man everybody where the goat man goat man so it was just like a whole goat man situation going on there could we see him we called him we went to his house we called him we went to his house people were looking for him nobody can see dave not a soul nobody can see the goat so dave gone and the goat gone now so so he i don't know if he went and he well i know he hid for a while he went somewhere and hide out and took the goat with him so that we couldn't find the goat and stuff like that anyways it was it was getting to a point where we we're calling him calling him calling him calling because we wanted him to answer his phone so that we could find out where our goat is and what happened to our goat why did you rape our goat what did my innocent goat did to you for you to come and rape the poor little goat that we're trying to make some money off of now we can't make any money off of it because you just raped the goat i'm i'm i'm, I'm dramatic at this point he raped our goat nice rape too a big big rape and the thing is, as I said before, when the goat came the first time, her vagina was looking different from a vagina, you know? It was kind of draining and stuff like that, but I don't know if goats see the period. Or, I don't know, I don't, I don't know, my mom didn't know, my dad was, I don't know. Because men really and truly don't really pay attention to anything. But my mom didn't know what it was and I didn't know what it was. As I said, we weren't used to this goat situation. Um, that was our first goat and that was a goat that we were looking forward to make some money off of and then boom the man raped the goat after a few days like an early morning um we woke up the goat was in the yard nicely tied up eating some grass when we looked at the goat vagina i felt sorry for the goat i'm like how can a man put his penis in a goat vagina and rape the goat? I mean, I hear about these things happening in the world, you know. Like, when it's right in front of your eyes, it's like a total different thing. Like, why would you rape a goat? Like, a goat? I am not a type, like, I'm an animal lover. I mean, I mess with them that much or be around them that much but i don't like to see people take advantage of goats or animals in general i don't like to be see people hurting them i don't like to see people killing them even the, even down to the chickens that i eat i don't like to see people killing it so it's like you know to see that the goat really went through a pain the goat came back the goat was looking so different the goat wasn't even acting you know like a goat she was just hardly eating you know it was it was sad it was a sad moment for me and the goat nobody can find dave until weeks after 
But the guys know in our community, they made a song for him. You know the mother the song will say, when you touch them, them touch the road, da, 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 yeah, yeah, whatever that song is. Right, so they made up this song and they were like, when they have touched the goat and the goat ball out, meh, meh, meh. They had this whole song going around with the goat saying that, you know, when they have touched the goat and the goat ball out, meh, meh, meh. And then they had another one that said, um, Peter find Dave with the goat. <laughs> Peter find Dave with the goat. Meh, meh, meh. Me, me, me. I don't know. Jamaica's are the best. Jamaica makes songs out of everything. We, we, um, maybe like weeks or months after, then we saw, we end up seeing Dave. Um, by this time, we had to kill the goat. Well, it was time for us to kill the goat because we couldn't do not much. And I don't think that people could sell goat after they've been raped. I mean, I don't know. I don't know if people still sell other people goats when they've been raped i don't know if they could easily eat anyways whatever but we killed ours we had to kill ours so it was coming down to the time where we had to kill the goat and that's when we saw dave dave came back around and he came and he apologized to my mom and stuff like that but let me tell you the people in the community gave it to him they call him names it was like there was a stigma on him so anywhere he goes they call him goat man that was his name goat man just rape the goat sir just rape it but that's the end of my story i just wanted to share this story with you since i remembered and i was like nah let me share the story with you too because listen that was a crazy situation but let me tell you guys don't rape the goats if you're watching this and you ever rape a goat you're wrong but don't rape another one please Thank you. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching this video. Once again, if you're new to this channel, welcome, 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 welcome. If you haven't subscribed as yet, click that subscription button right down below and turn on your notification bell so that you can be notified anytime I post a new video. Always remember to stay true to yourself because there's nobody in this world better than you. Tell a friend, to tell a friend, to tell a friend. Hey, to tell a friend, to tell a friend, to tell a friend. To tell a friend, to tell a friend, to tell a friend. That Angel say to tell a friend to subscribe to her channel. Until next time, guys. Peace.